What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and today we have a Red Dead Redemption 2 beginner's hunting guide to help you through the hunting process in Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, if you do enjoy this video and get some information out of it, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you do enjoy the content. So with all that out of the way, let's jump right into the information because I have about 20 hours of game time already. About three or four hours of that playtime has been dedicated to hunting and really learning how to become a better hunter. As many of you guys know, hunting is a decent way to make money in Red Dead Redemption 2 as well as it actually levels up your main cores. That's right. Health, stamina, and Deadeye can all be leveled up via hunting so before i jump into like really nitty gritty details let me go ahead and explain some basics in this hunting guide i personally only used my bow as well as i don't know how detailed this video will still be if you're watching it one month five months and a year from now so make sure you check the release date of when this video was released so you stay up to date with these hunting guides stealth in hunting is key you want to make sure that you are always crouched if you are on the hunt. But if you're looking for an area where animals are, you can easily always ride up to animals, then crouch towards them after they scatter. Precision shooting is one of the most important things of hunting. If you don't shoot an animal correctly, you'll get poor quality pelt and lower grade meat at times as well. To ensure you're getting the highest quality kill as well as the highest quality pelt, you want to make sure that the animal that you're hunting is of high quality. Now, what do I mean? Some of you guys may be hunting and getting perfect headshots on deers, but when you skin the deer, you get low grade or poor quality felts and you're very confused. The reason for this is because every single animal in Red Dead Redemption 2 has a quality to itself. From poor to good to excellent, there are different types of animals that you can hunt that range in three star levels. One star is poor, two stars is good, and three stars is perfect or excellent. Now there is one grade higher than those three and that is legendary, but in this specific guide, we are not talking about legendary grade animals. That's going to be a whole video on its own where I'll be demonstrating where to find all the legendary animals, how to kill all of them, and what you get from each one. When I first started hunting, I really didn't understand how hunting really worked. I just shot my bow and hoped for the best and hitting it in key arteries like the neck or the head were most important factors to me. But as I hunted more and more, I got to learn exactly how the fundamentals of hunting worked in Red Dead Redemption 2. As many of you guys know, there is an eagle eye system that allows you to go ahead and track animals. When you go ahead and press your R3 and L3, you get this very, very weird like line that comes from the back of Arthur Morgan. That is to demonstrate the direction of the wind. At all times, you want to make sure that that little wavy line is going backwards towards you, the viewer, and not towards the animal. If the animal picks up your scent, they will run away scared. Knowing which way the wind is blowing is a key factor to your success in hunting in Red Dead Redemption 2. Being stealthy, knowing the wind direction, and of course, knowing the quality of animal you're hunting are all three very important steps you can easily take to maximize your effectiveness when hunting. Some common mistakes that I've seen personally and have done myself when hunting is not paying attention to stamina. Stamina is the most important thing, especially when using a bow, to go ahead and maximize your efficiency. When you have a bow in your hand and you have the bow drawn holding R2 and L2, you will notice that your stamina bar on the outer rim goes down. It starts to get depleted. If you hold it for too long, your main stamina core, the inner circle, will also deplete. And that is very bad. You never want that to happen. If you do end up using all of your stamina outer core, you can simply hold triangle and rest to regain it, as well as eat different types of food or medicine to get your stamina back up. The most effective way to get your stamina up without wasting a ton of money is just resting. It does take a little bit longer because you have to wait for your stamina bar to get back up, but enjoy the game, the surroundings. Just take a quick knee. You'll get your stamina back up and you'll be right back into hunting. Now, you're probably wondering, Garrett, I have barely any stamina on my outer rim stamina bar and every time I hunt, I waste my main stamina core. I had the same issue. My biggest recommendation to go ahead and level up your stamina is just hunt. 
Don't worry about the pelts. Don't worry about the meat. Just shoot the, the deers, the coyotes, the rabbits, the opossums. Just shoot them and you'll get credit. Slowly and surely leveling up your stamina bar because when you do hunt, you do get rewarded for hunting. You actually level up your main cores. Health, stamina, and deadeye. The most effective way to level up your stamina though is by just simply running in game. Constantly running. Run get your stamina back, run, get your stamina back, and run. Doing this will over time level you up in game to have a higher stamina pool because you're training your body to be able to go longer distances and to hold your breath for longer period of time when you're using your bow. I know it all sounds weird and I didn't think of any of this stuff when I first started hunting. I was just like, God, I freaking hate hunting. I sucked at it. But the more I got to learning how to hunt and really got down to the nitty gritty on why things were performing the way they were, I finally understood what I was doing so wrong. And that's why I wanted to help you guys understand how hunting works in Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, like I mentioned, this is a beginner's guide. The simplest things I'll be mentioning in this video will not make sense to those of you guys that may have 40, 50, 60 hours in game and that are looking for legendary kills of the legendary uh, monsters or animals in game. I, I don't I don't know why I called them monsters by the way. Regardless, the best shot to take on most animals is a headshot. The deer is very, very, very effective in the neck and the head. Any other part you will lose somewhat quality to the animal and you want to make sure that what the animals you're hunting they are of high quality to begin with. You shouldn't be out there chasing low quality animals that are just poor and wasting arrows if you're not going to get a definitive kill. Honestly, with the poor quality animals, you can simply just shoot them anywhere just to go ahead and get the level up of your stamina, health, or dead eye perks. I personally have not used the varmint rifle or a rifle or a pistol in any hunting because I don't think it's very effective. Every single shot you take, all the animals scatter in a large radius, so it makes it a little bit longer of a process to hunt, but I know a lot of you guys like to just go ahead and just go like guns to freaking wall and just start shooting so if that's your choice of hunting go for it at the end of the day have fun with hunting it's something that's super new to me as well and it's extremely new to you guys because you haven't played much of the game yet but it's an overall great experience i had a lot of fun hunting today and that's what i spent a majority of my day doing to make this commentary a majority of my day was spent learning hunting, uh, hunting and tracking legendary animals and skinning from like the smallest little critters to birds in the sky if you guys want some easy, easy challenges to complete, be sure to always look up and just shoot some arrows in the sky. Lock on to birds that are flying above you, shoot them down, and you get some pretty good credit. On top of that, Deadeye is also very, very effective if you want to go ahead and hunt multiple animals at once. And on top of that, for effective and clean kills towards animals like you guys saw in the beginning of this commentary that have extremely uh, excellent or perfect grade pelts. The last topic I want to touch on in this beginner's guide, which may be a little bit more of like a moderate to high level conversation, but if needed, you can also buy items at the general store to help you hunt. These items will mask your scent as well as give you better options for hunting when it comes to arrows and different items you could use to maximize the hunt, especially if you're hunting carnivores and herbivores as there's different items you can place on the floor for herbivores as well as uh, different things you can place for carnivores. And I, I don't even know if that's the right terminology because I feel like like that's just like, it sounds like I'm talking about dinosaurs. We're not hunting dinosaurs, dudes. I promise there's no dinosaurs that are living in Red Dead Redemption 2, but there are dinosaurs. Spoiler alert. So to wrap this video up, I want to quickly do an overview of everything we talked about, a quick spitfire overview so you guys just have like a quick understanding of like okay that's what we talked about first things first uh hunting is really effective when stealth be sure to know which direction the wind is uh blowing so that your scent does not scare animals three using a bow is very effective and it is a better option than using a varmint rifle even though that's what it's sort of designed to use like what it's for keep a close eye on your stamina make sure your stamina does not get depleted and rest often don't be out there crazy shooting your bow and depleting all your stamina as you will be super ineffective and inefficient to hunting. You want to make sure you keep your stamina bar high. Five, be on the lookout for different types of pelts 
that animals can give you. Even though you get a perfect shot on a poor grade deer, it's still going to give you a poor grade pelt. Be on the lookout on the bottom right for the stars. One star is poor, two stars is good, three stars is excellent and perfect, and four stars is legendary. But we're not talking about legendary in this video besides that one point. And lastly, of course, you want to make sure that you go ahead and use items to your disposal if you need them. Different items are able to be purchased at the general store, like scent, detractors, uh, different types of arrows can be crafted, and of course, different types of baits and lures to bring animals closer. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like. Show that love in the comment section if it helped you. And if you guys have any additional tips and tricks you want me to go ahead and add to this guide, let me know down below. And if you have any videos or ideas in things you need help with, let me know. I can help you guys. I have way too many hours in this game already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later on today with a brand new video. We're doing so many videos today. It's crazy. See you guys soon.